Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where you somehow deleted all of your iMessages on your iPhone and you may be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and you know get them back somehow. Now I will tell you two main ways that I've personally used in my life to actually recover most of these, if not all of these messages. Now there's technically like a lot of ways to do it, but these are the ways that I recommend. The very first way that I would recommend getting your messages back on your iPhone are typically to restore from a backup. Now what this looks like is essentially you have an iPhone, let's say you have to fully reset it or there's something wrong with it or whatever. Sometimes there are iCloud backups that happen in the background. Sometimes you may have done a backup on your computer. In reality, the main way and the way that I've done it time and time again to recover my messages is to essentially just you know restore from a backup. So either I will go into my iCloud account, you reset my phone and then restore from a backup that way, or I will go into my MacBook or Windows machine and restore from a backup as well. And the backups and to restoring from backups is very easy. I'll leave a link down below that'll show you exactly how to do it. But that is essentially the main way. And typically what I do here is I'll go ahead and first of all back up my phone anyway, but I'll go ahead and reset it. So I'll click reset, erase all content and settings. It's gonna delete everything off the phone. I will plug my iPhone back into my computer and I will restore from that backup that I made maybe like a couple months ago or even a year ago, depending on how crucial those text messages were. So that's really the main way. There can be some situations where you know you may want to have messages that had that happen after your backup. And that's where my second method would come in. And this, in my opinion, is the one thing that I've done time and time again as well. It's not as crazy, but it does help me out in the long run anyway. So what I would do, and this is kind of crazy, is I would go ahead and find another device that I've had logged into the same iCloud account and everything and basically sync up those messages to the iCloud. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this phone, let's say this was the phone I want the messages on, I would go ahead and put this phone on airplane mode. I will then go on to my other iPhone. So let's say this was my other iPhone. I would go ahead and make sure this phone is connected to Wi-Fi. So this is the second iPhone. If this iPhone had my messages on it, and there's a lot of devices that have messages, MacBooks, iPads, iPods, other iPhones that you've had in the past, a lot of these devices will still get messages in the background via your iCloud account. So you wanna go onto there, you wanna find those messages that you like and whatever. And all you have to do there is I think as long as you're past iOS 12, you want to make your way over to your settings app. You wanna go up to your iCloud settings up here. You wanna go into iCloud right here. And this messages icon, you want to make sure it is enabled. As long as that messages account, or whatever this little toggle thing right here is enabled, you will essentially be able to store your messages from your specific device to your shared iCloud. So you wanna make sure it's logged into the same iCloud. You wanna make sure you have space available too. As you can see, I have no space available. And that's essentially all you have to do at that point. You wanna go back to your original iPhone. So again, this was that iPhone from before. You wanna get off airplane mode. So you wanna get off here. You wanna come onto your standard Wi-Fi panel, and then you will start to see your messages populate on your specific device. And that's essentially all you have to do. It, it isn't like the most foolproof method way, but it is a way that I've done it time and time again with not only messages, but with the notes and with some other things as well that have actually helped me out in the long run. And that's essentially how you do it. Again, this is a huge workaround, but it is another way that I've done it that may actually help out for you as well. So that's essentially a couple ways to recover deleted iMessages on your device. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.